what uh, Professor David McMillan and I have discovered in around the late 90s was that there is a third class of catalysts available which, with which we can make all these molecules that we need, like drugs and, and scent molecules, but also plastics, pretty much everything that surrounds us. And it, the new class that we discovered are organic molecules. Before we thought there are only enzymes and transition metal complexes that can be used as catalysts. And we found simple, small organic molecules that you can isolate from, from natural materials. And some we even make in our own body, like the amino acid proline, which we used as a catalyst. And that was really a shock even to us at the time. And yeah, that was, that was our discovery. Most uh, use of, of our technologies are uh, in, in the synthesis of small molecule drugs, pharmaceuticals. These are often relatively complex molecules and, and the synthesis is not so easy. And uh, our catalysts specifically help, for example, in the preparation of one antiviral compound. And I think this is a good time to remind people how important antivirals are. I mean, everybody is now aware of that fact, right? We think vaccines are, are the, the, the cure, and often they are. I think in this per current pandemic, for example, it's, it's, it's a vaccine. But in many other diseases, like for example, hepatitis C or HIV, it's small molecule drugs that chemists design and synthesize. And one particular uh, drug is made using organocatalysis, and actually it's currently used everywhere in, in the pharmaceutical industry. I still think that it could have an impact. Like imagine there's a small molecule drug then you take and, and you simply don't end up in the hospital. I think that would really change, change this pandemic completely, right? And is that so, something that could happen with you? Absolutely. Your Absolutely. I mean, we are not working on, on drugs. We are making, we're making drugs, right? So it's a slightly different angle. So it's the technology with which you can make drugs. It's not the design of drugs, what, what, what we do in the lab. Thanks for watching Bloomberg Quick Take Now. Subscribe to our channel to see the biggest stories the moment they happen from around the world and tune in to our 24-7 live stream for global news coverage, interviews, deep dives, shows, and documentaries on the stories you care about.